Hi boys, so I finally was able to find some cool hardware stuff down in the kind of expo hall, essentially. And it was from EK and AMD. And AMD wasn't really there, but they had some EK reps. And what they were showing off was essentially a Lee and Lee case with a distro plate that's on the front. It, it, it allows you to go ahead and order basically a kit that you can just basically put together pretty easily. You don't have to do any tube bending. You can buy acrylic tubes and get that hard tube like look without actually having to do the most difficult parts, which is like the bends and so on. The reasoning is because they've custom made a distro plate that fits into a specific case, the Lee and Lee case in this, in this particular uh, case. There you go. <laughs> but you can run it directly from the CPU and they're all just four straight lines straight down. Makes it really, really easy to go ahead and get yourself a custom loop going uh, without too much overhead. And it looks better than, in my opinion, the soft tubing. There was uh, some, some questions about the actual blocks they're using. They're using aluminum. So if you're gonna be going with the blocks that are in those kits, uh, which is their fluid gaming series. You're going to want to be careful with opaque fluids. Not that anybody really likes running opaque fluids anyways. I think the general consensus is uh, it's not very fun to run it. So unless you're doing it for a show, don't really uh, do it. But that that's kind of a, a side note there. Uh, they are, I did talk to the rep and he said they are planning on actually getting uh, essentially what's going to be a bare bones kit that includes the case, all of the fittings that you need, and that distro plate pre-installed, and then you select the block that you want. So whether it's AMD or Intel block, or NVIDIA or, a or Radeon GPU block, and which particular GPU you want that block for, and then they'll ship it in a whole kit, uh, bare bones, with the case, with the distro plate installed, pre-installed, you can throw it in. They do sell those PCs as well. Um, I believe it was somewhere around two grand, and that's gonna be with a Ryzen 7 processor. I actually didn't get exactly which one it was. It starts at around two grand, starts around 1899. I think you can flip and flop which CPU you want in there. And then the Radeon 5700 XT. I think those particular PCs uh, are partnered with Lee and Lee and AMD, so I don't think you're going to get an Intel part and obviously the Lee and Lee case because it's that plate is specifically made for it. I haven't looked at pricing as far as individual parts, and he didn't give me any pricing on bare bones kit, but I did get his card so I can reach out to them and figure out exactly uh, what's going on when those bare bones are going to be uh, released and if I could actually get a sample because. I, I told him I don't really want like a whole PC, obviously, for a sample. What I'd be more interested in is ease of access to uh, custom water cooling for everybody. And this is uh, probably one of the better kits I've seen. Obviously, Borrow, like we talked about with the most recent build, Unicorn Sacrifice. There you go. You can check that build out in the corner. Uh, it's getting a lot easier. You can go on Borrow's website, for example. You can look up what you want. It has the exact case there exact parts that you need to order, the part numbers listed out, and you just order and it makes it super easy. But a bare bones kit would just be that much easier uh, from EK. And I know they've done like some of the pre-kits with the soft tubing before as part of the fluid gaming. What you're gonna wanna be careful with there is if they sell it in a bare bones kit, it's going to include the aluminum blocks, I would presume, uh, because they'll probably be trying to keep it on the cheap side. And if you want to go with copper for the best of the best cooling, there's an argument for that. And so I would understand, you know, the more uh, affluent uh, custom cooler is not gonna really want to go uh, buy aluminum blocks most of the time. But if it's something where you're doing your first build and you wanna kinda get, dip your feet in and just getting started, I think it's a great option. I think it's gonna be one of the better options for people just getting into water cooling. Um, it just looks better than soft tubing. Uh, you're gonna have interchangeable parts. You're gonna be able to replace the pump. Um, so you're not gonna have the problem of you know the dead pumps on the closed loop coolers or anything like that. And it just looks good. It looks really good. These systems from the, that they were showing off with the Lee and Lee case look fantastic. And I'm super excited to build in one at some point and kind of do that. Just mimic the build and take a look at what it, what it can do as far as performance goes. Um, it did look like it was a single rad and it sounded really, really quiet. 
uh, pretty much exactly like you would expect for anything else that's water cooled. But if you guys have any more questions about it, uh, that you can let me know down below. Maybe I can go out there uh, later today or tomorrow or sometime this weekend and get those questions answered. But that's pretty much it. We did see uh, X Gamer PC out here. It looks like they had a system with Corsair water cooling parts. Um, I have no, I have no clue about Corsair or the quality of their parts. It, what they did have it was a soft tube system. So uh, last year they had some hard tube systems. I was kind of surprised they only had soft tubing out here today. I have to go give Roger a hard time about that. Uh, but they are out here, so it's good to see them. Cougar's out here again, but Cougar doesn't have any products I'm super interested in. Uh, if I'm wrong and there's something you guys are interested in, also let me know down in the comments and I will try to get those questions answered. I have uh, Magic the Gathering pre-release sealed at 7 p.m., which will be pretty cool. I'll give you guys an update on how I performed in that. And I'm trying to practice on MTG Arena but it keeps disconnecting and crashing and everybody's having issues, so that's no fun. Um, I'm gonna eat a sandwich now. See you in a little bit.